that there is something called ease of doing HR. Okay, we have made it unnecessarily complicated. We have made it very policy driven. Uh, it, for me, it doesn't work. Now, I'm going to speak broadly on the area of robotics. There will be some area of in, uh, artificial intelligence which will come in. There will be um, also broadly, uh, you know, things I'll talk about what I have done before, things which I'm currently doing, and things where I have not had the support of existing technologies and what I aspire for. At every stage, I'm also going to tell you who are my partners with whom I work. How does robotics work? So when you think of robotics, it's not you know, those humanoids who walk in with those techno music at the background. I'm not talking about that. Uh, have you all heard of Excel macros? That's a very basic level of robotics. So what robotics does is that things which are repetitive in nature follow similar steps. If I can add a layer of automation on that and it can do those stuff, that's where the robotics begin. So robotics plus a bit of machine learning plus a bit of data together will you know, land up somewhere around artificial intelligence, very simply put. Okay? So what we did, we created a slightly advanced level of a macro. What it would do at night when almost nobody was in the organization, it would log into the HRMS okay, through the sysadmin login. And what it would do, it would identify for whom the letter one or the letter two or the letter three were due. It would go and put the print command it, there was a dedicated printer with the letterheads. It would come out. The next morning, there would be a guy who would come in. The only thing he or she had to do was to put it in the envelope and dispatch it. Very, very simple thing around robotics. No high funder stuff. You have a lot of people request for you know, employment proof and address proof letters, don't they? OK. Now, so we had the thing that where you can download your own soft copy. But there are also organizations which want it on letterheads, OK, company letterheads. So again, a different macro with a similar capability, what it would do is that it would again log in every night. It would find out who had made those requests. It would print it out. The guy next morning, he would uh, come into the office, simply put in the envelope. That guy did not know how to read or write English at all. Only knew the numbers one to zero, okay? And what he or she had to do is simply look at the employee's I card, okay, and give that letter out. So what we are trying to do is that say that in the area of employee relations, typically what happens in a HR so-called business partner's life, okay, is there are a lot of queries which come to people in terms of, can you clarify me this policy? Can you tell me what this policy is about? It's more on things which are available. So how do we respond? So what we are doing is we are uh, actually working with some uh, search technologies, okay, what it will do at a basic thing is that it will simply find out the word, let's say I'm searching for reimbursements. It will find out the policies where the reimbursements are there, and it will, let's say, medical reimbursement, travel reimbursement, it will find out the relevant policies and it will show on the left-hand side, these are my relevant policies. I go and ask uh, how many days, and this is something, uh, it works on the principle of deterministic logic. Current searches work on the whole thing of probabilistic, okay? Uh, a deterministic thing would work like this. I want to, how many days of maternity leave am I eligible for? It goes and tells me that Shob, you are a male, hence you are not eligible for maternity leave. Okay, so I'm filtering by <coughs> criteria. Then if I ask how many days of pat leave I'm eligible for, it might say five, seven, whatever it is. Okay? Now think of me if I were a female. Okay? If I say how many days of mat leave I'm eligible for, uh, highly uh, sophisticated AI is going to tell me, as per our records, you had a childbirth as on 1st of February 2016. So you are not eligible for a maternity leave uh, till 1st of December 2016. And whenever you are eligible, you're eligible for, let's say, 180 days or whatever the policy is. Okay? So that's a way where probably an artificial intelligence can work. Not done that because it, I, what I see is that it's not available. In terms of some of the things which the technology is available, we are looking into how to get it. Uh, we know, we have figured out the way to do it is let's say, uh, you know, uh, in the area of sourcing, okay? So previously we used to have people giving their resumes, uh, very ancient passing technologies giving typically around 40% accuracy rate of a candidate to a particular role. What we have seen uh, uh, is, uh, Actually, the searches are giving us close to 90% fit. <coughs> there is another thing which uh, ARIA has, okay, which we are planning to use, 
is, you know, a lot of times when after your hiring is done, they have a technology. What it does is that if you push in the PDF files or the scanned files with the, in any form and format, no file name, format, nothing. You just push in the files in a, in a FTP folder, the software runs and it scans all the documents. So it just goes and does the tabulation in a neat format. Once it does, if you have a laid out format through a bunch of APIs, it can create a whole employee profile and simply you have to upload a CSV and your employee profile would get created.